people. And they go out for a fight. <laughs> I'd like to tell you, the only time I've been to Glasgow, I, I, I got lost, I was looking for um, something unimportant. And uh, I went up and asked this woman, and I said, uh, excuse me, uh, could you tell me where, wherever it was I was going to? <laughs> Is. And she said, Fuck off, Sassanak! <laughs> no, I mean, that, that really isn't the sort of language you expect from a nun. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, I thought everyone's spoken about the election, and I thought, great, I've planned like, most of my set about the Swedish election. And everyone's talked about it, but they've missed out one thing. They haven't done a full rundown of who you should vote for. So, I've prepared this. Oh yes. <laughs> Fucking folder. <laughs> I mean business. Okay, so I'm going to help you out. How many people by a round of applause? Fucking hell, that, that light is really bright. <laughs> How many people by a round of applause can actually is eligible to vote in Sweden? Yeah. Uh, about, about half of you, I'd say. Now, you probably don't know who to vote for because they're all actually the same. Uh, unfortunately, we live in a country where between, you know, you get this radical change of parties and nothing happens. I really think that, that uh, political parties should make a statement like that. The first morning after they uh, get into office, they should say, right, we're going to sort out this whole problem with an ageing population, you know, the pensions, they're not enough. And they just go out and they kill everyone over 65 or something like that. Or even they just sort of say, right, we, we, we're not like keen on the royal family. And then they build a gigantic catapult and they fling the royal family into the river. Because I, I mean, you, you would remember a, a, a party that had done that. But they, they try and make themselves different. They, you know, they have their different colours and they're all <coughs> different shades of blue, it would seem. But... <laughs> And the colours in no way represent the, the party. I mean, yeah, there's the green party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But they all really should be beige, because you really can't tell them apart. <laughs> so, so here's my guide. And this is, this is a one-off, I tell you, because basically after the election, I can't use this material, so enjoy it. <laughs> right, so we start off. And th this is an education for our foreign people who are here. And that light is still pinning my eyes. Nice touch, Pete. Uh, right, I'll start off with the ones in power at the moment. Does anyone know who they are? No, exactly. Uh, they're actually one called the Boryana. One reindeer. Reindeer is one of them. Reindeer, reindeer, reindeer. yeah. Reindeer, yes. Reindeer. We'll get on to him. Boryana, which is uh, Swedish for boring. Uh, <laughs> now, this is made up of four parties. Because you really need four parties controlling the country, of course. <laughs> right, we have the moderatina, the moderates, the conservatives, who gave us Frederick Reinfeldt, or reindeer, as he is. <laughs> if you Google Frederick Reinfeldt, it just says, who? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently even his wife, Philippa, calls him Thingy. <laughs> So then we have the Centre Party, and now I like the Centre Party, partly because I've got a bit of a thing for Maud Olufsen. <laughs> she looks like a bit of a girl, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, she's from the north of Sweden, and, I, and previously I had this idea that everyone from the north of Sweden was like really silent, and uh, she just never shuts up. <laughs> so I actually Apparently she used to work as Mistress Maud at uh, an s and club in Seleftio, <laughs> and then moved into politics. Uh, next up we have Chris Demokratina. You see how good this guy is? You really you get a feel for them. Chris Demokratina, the Christian Democrats. I mean, we... I mean, Christian in the name. <laughs> Never going to be good, is it? <laughs> uh, Joran Hegland. Yeah. Yes. Creepy looking fucker, isn't he? <laughs> he looks like a sex offender. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he is a sex offender, but I've seen no evidence to suggest that he isn't. <laughs> so, but in case any lawyers are in the... I didn't say he was. <laughs> Next up, we have the Folk Party. Uh, yes. The People's Party, what a great name. The People's Party. I'm not sure anyone ever votes for them. 
Uh, Jan Björklund. There's probably a few sweets going, ah, <laughs> never heard of him. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll help you here, because you can recognise him. He has the most gigantic gap between the teeth <laughs> you have ever seen. And apparently it varies depending on his mood. If he's angry, <laughs> it can be anything up to three metres of <laughs> And thanks to this fantastic freak of nature, he is the only party leader that can eat an apple through a tennis racket. <laughs> right, we move swiftly on to the Rude Grona, which is Swedish for Rude Gronas. <laughs> and the, for the major party in that one is Social Democrat. Or oh, Social Democrat, isn't it? Uh, the leader there is Mona Selin. Now, I think she's all right, apart from the fact that she looks like my mum. <laughs> you know, I love my mum, not in that way, you know, in a purely normal way. But I wouldn't want her running the country, because <laughs> she'd have people out like hoovering the railways and stuff like that. Just was not good. Now, Mum Celine's quite cool, because she really, uh, she was involved in a, a big scandal Massive scandal, and you're thinking, oh, is there dead bodies in the room? No, she bought a Toblerone and didn't tell anyone and used her, like, party credit card for it. Oh, yeah, I know. What an evil bitch. <laughs> now, I, I personally think it's probably because they were frightened of, uh, of having a woman come in, into power. I mean, they've probably seen what happened in England when that happened. <laughs> It's bad. Uh, I mean, the fact that, that uh, Johan Passion got away with everything he did, like fucking badges and stuff like that, and, and no one said anything, but that's because he's a man. Right, we'll move next on. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to have a drink. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> it's really good having a fire. I can throw it at anyone who heckles me. <laughs> right, we've got the uh, Venster party, the left party, right? And they are uh, led by Lars Oli, uh, who looks like he uh, gets dressed in the dark. <laughs> uh, and this is an interesting little bit of trivia. If you try and type Lars Oli into uh, an iPhone with an <coughs> English key keypad, Oli becomes ugly. <laughs> and that's true. Everything else is lies, that's true. Uh, but he gets my vote. Well, not actually, literally, obviously. <laughs> uh, but I mean, he, he has something going for him because I think out of all the, uh, the leaders, he would probably handle himself best in a fight. So <laughs> if that's important to you, vote for them. Right then, next up, we have Milieu Party at Dom Grana which is a ridiculous name, the, the Environmental Party. How anything to do with the environment is important, I don't know. I like the American attitude towards the environment. The sooner we get rid of it, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, the, 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 the things that they're, they're sorting out the world with, we aren't allowed to have 100 watt bulbs. Yep, that's going to sort it out, isn't it? Yeah, no, get rid of those pesky 100 watt bulbs and then everything will be all right. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. On the last Earth Day, I bought all the 100 watt bulbs. And, you know, they always take an aerial photo. Look, look how black, look how many people. I, I went out into my garden and I went, fuck off, the 100 watt bulbs <laughs> on my lawn. <laughs> right, we have uh, Maria Vetterstrand and Peter Erickson. So, they, I mean, they... They don't look like people you can trust. They look like... I mean, he's got a beard for starters. <laughs> <laughs> and not a sort of cool beard like some people have. We're talking a, like a, a geography teacher beard. <laughs> uh, they look like they, they drive around in a VW camper and they knit their own muesli and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, uh, Maria Vettestrand, she's quite nice looking there, so... It's always good. <laughs> So that was, the, that was the big parties. Now we've got three 